morning, welcome back to Nichols on Tour. This is day six of our seven day break. I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos so far. We are today going well, back into the old town and we're going to head to the tourist information office and get our multi ticket, I think, to visit a few of the houses and museums today. Okay, well, we'll catch up with you shortly. Remember guys, don't forget to like, press the like button, the thumbs up button on these videos um, and we will catch up with you shortly. So just wanted to give you an update on the road situation because these sort of medieval cobbles are actually pretty rough and slightly difficult to walk on when you're going sort of uphill and downhill so that's why you've got to keep looking down to uh, watch where your feet go. Okay so now we're going to go into the Balabanov house which is one of the finest houses apparently in Plovdiv was actually knocked down in 1935 and rebuilt in 1975 but we won't mention that <laughs> but it's an example of a symmetrical house such as those found along the banks of the Bosphorus actually Ooh. and it's apparently full of rather lovely things come on guys let's go inside okay so um in the days of the Ottoman Empire I suppose when the Turkish were here they would take away from the homes the little boys from the age of about five to train them up to be in the Turkish army. So there was quite a thing that you had to hide your sons. And this statue shows a little boy hiding behind his father. Apparently there is a tunnel between this house and the Hindlian house where we went to the other day, where they used to run. So when they were looking for this house, they'd run in the tunnel and hide at that house and then back again. What do you think? Oh, I'm smiling for the photo. Um, yeah, it was very interesting. The lower floor was mainly an art gallery, yep. full of Bulgarian painters that obviously never heard, never of, heard yeah. of. But the first floor was, yeah, lovely. It was a huge big room, and then just the rooms off it. Yeah, it was interesting. It really was. So onwards we go. Right, we've now uh, left that property and we're now at the uh, apothecary. Yeah, the pharmacy, which was the house I'm reading here, of Dr. Sotir Antoniadi. Between 1872 and 1947, it was the best equipped pharmacy in Plovdiv. So we're just going to pop inside and have a quick look.
what do you think? I'm glad we went there. It was made a change from the houses. It was really interesting. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was big functional until what, 19... 47, I think Yeah, I mean, amazing that it was sort of functioning like that. But yeah, so interesting and uh, yeah. Empty. I mean, <laughs> Apart from empty, us. yeah. Didn't seem to be any visitors at all. So um, yeah, we continue on. Okay, where are we? So we're outside the Clianti house, which is where we're gonna go next when it opens up from its lunch break. Um, one of the oldest wooden framed houses in Plothiv, owned by a wooden merchant. And unlike the other one, which was a symmetrical house, this is an asymmetrical house. Oh, there you go. I hope you can hear us. Obviously the wind's picked up a bit. Sorry, I should have shouted. It's a bit of a breeze, but anyway, um, hopefully that'll be, uh, that'll be okay. Just step down some steps into the cellar where they used to keep the wine and food and what have you, and it's now used as an exhibition room. But the interesting thing about it is you can really feel how cool it is down here. It's almost like it's sort of air conditioned. So, yeah. What do you think, Clive? Well, it was <laughs> it was fascinating, and the paintwork and everything, you know, is it's been restored, obviously, but yeah, the sort of paintings, the ceiling paintings, the sort of glass inlay and everything, and they're quite. Uh, interestingly, it has a number of internal windows, which is a feature of these houses to bring the light in, because obviously there's no electricity. What did you think? Yeah, I thought it was very good. We were the only ones there yet again. Yet again, so yeah. well worth a visit if you're coming down here. And um, I forget, what, what was it called again? Clianti House. Clianti House, so well worth it. Put it on your list. <laughs> so where are we now? We're at the Nedkovic House, built in 1863 for Nicola Nedkovic. And it's got a harmonious architecture. That's all I can remember. Okay, well, I was going to say that don't panic, this is the last house of the day. <laughs> okay, you may be completely housed out, but this is definitely the last one. Just of the want day. to get the value for money on our uh, five houses for one price ticket. I think the ticket was what 15 lev each, so what's that about five or six yeah, pounds? So yeah. I think it's been very good value for money. I mean, if you're going to do this, then one of those tickets is very good. You can use it over 24 hours, although uh, two days, yeah, yeah, 40, so that's 48. Yeah. Sorry, boss. <laughs> yeah, you can use it over 48 hours. <laughs> Can't use it in the middle of the night, clearly. Right, let's go in. And have so, a where are we now? We're at the. Oh, God.
this is the gossip room. This is a separate room to the side of the building where they could sit and chat and uh, talk to people in the street, etc. It's known as a gossip room. So we're standing outside the house, but you can see there and there the paintings above the windows. And this is the only house in Plovdiv which has those uh, paintings, a number of other paintings uh, above the windows there. But these are particularly good. One has the lion and one has the bear. Um, and then the uh, little summer house I showed you just there. The, um, you know, it's, it's fantastic, it really is. And we've just been into the laundry, uh, which is a separate building. Um, behind me here so yeah uh, this is the uh, this is the laundry and this is actually a cistern it's not a well uh, it's actually a cistern that they uh, that's sort of like where all the sewage and washing water and everything sort of flowed under there but a, a lot of the houses had these one or two did have wells but mainly they were cisterns these things right just a quick summary um, Gosh, that was very interesting. I mean, the the lady who was a sort of um, in the box office, as it were, <laughs> ticket, and suddenly came out and started explaining all the stuff which we hadn't noticed. The little pictures above the windows, um, the, the system, system the, the laundry she showed us, I mean, the, the, uh, the gossip room, which, which we'd never have here. seen, yeah. yeah. Which is, um, so that is the gossip room there we saw from the other side. And then she was explaining about, just behind me here, is a metal doorway with steps going down where all the food and wine and uh, deliveries and things were taken right through into a cellar, uh, in, you know, a tunnel and then a cellar into the house. So, um, yeah, no, it's absolutely fantastic. It really is. So well worth it. So that's good. And she's given us a recommendation for at least two museums yeah, or one said museum we should go to the archaeological museum and the ethnographic if we have time which i think we'll have now make time yeah, she's completely so. sold yes. it to us yeah. and she said how brilliant it is and we'll won't go to the track art center which we had been planning to do so there we go yeah. right okay so i think that's the summary of the day so we've seen what four, four, houses. four houses today yeah. and each have been very different i mean they um yeah, they've been, I mean, each of them has been fascinating. I mean, only a few rooms and things, but it uh, gives a real idea about how cosmopolitan um, Plodvik and Bulgaria must have been, you know, in the sort of 1800s and what have you. But yeah, really interesting.